This text is boring. This text is bold. This video is going to show you the best way to make bold text in Inkscape. There are a few different methods that you can use to make your text bold in Inkscape. From something as simple as choosing a font that has a bold option, to using the outset operation, or better yet, the linked offset operation. Most options have their pros and their fair share of cons. But there is one way that is easy, fast, versatile, and in my opinion, simply the best way to make your text bold. Use a stroke. Using a stroke around your text allows you to immediately see what effect the boldness will have, while at the same time, allowing you to still modify your text. Many other methods require you to convert your text to a path, thus you lose the ability to modify the text in the future. With the stroke method, there is no need to convert your text to a path and lose that text edit until you're ready to flatten down your image for final output. I also find that the stroke method preserves the sharp corners of your text. All the other methods I know of tend to round off corners and start to deform the text as the boldness grows. The steps to using the stroke method to fatten up that text are as follows. 1. Create your text. 2. Select the text. 3. Shift click on a color swatch to add a stroke to the text. In this case, I'll use this beautiful orange color. 4. Open up the fill and stroke dialog box by clicking on the swatch of the current stroke color, or by pressing Ctrl Shift F on the keyboard. 5. Click the Stroke Style tab. 6. Change the width value here to make the text more or less bold, and then press Enter to set that value. Pro tip, make sure you click out of the box before pressing any keys on the keyboard. And that's pretty much it. There are many other options for fill and stroke that you might want to look at in the future, but you just came here to find out how to make the boldest text, and we've already done just that. But remember that thing I said about flattening down your image for output? Time for me to explain what I meant by that. See right now, this image that you see actually consists of the original text and this stroke. And that stroke right now only really exists in Inkscape's imagination. Now if we quickly switch over to the split screen viewing mode by pressing Ctrl 6 on the keyboard, we can see that the only shape that really exists is the path of the text itself. That fat orange stroke is nowhere to be seen behind the scenes. Right now, the stroke is a figment of Inkscape's imagination. If you are making this design to cut out on something like a plasma cutter or vinyl cutter, you'll be pretty disappointed when the text isn't any bolder after you convert to a path and import into your other software. What we need to do is combine the stroke and the text together so that the resultant path is the full boldness that we so desire. Thankfully, all we have to do is convert the stroke to a path of its own. Pro tip. Be warned, at this step, the text will also be converted to a path and thus no longer be editable. I like to duplicate my text and just shove that duplicate off to the side of the page so I still have the original text and it's easy to make changes down the road. Okay, with that backup copy made and out of the way, all we have to do to make that stroke a path is select the text and press Ctrl Alt C. Or we can go up here to the path menu and select stroke to path. Now by converting the stroke to a path, what Inkscape so considerately does for us is leave that original text path alone, and it just creates an additional path for the stroke. You can see that with the text selected, if you look down here at the status bar, it kindly informs us that we have a group consisting of two objects. Neat. What we really want though is one object. The easiest way I know of to achieve that is to ungroup the group by pressing Ctrl Shift G or right clicking and choosing ungroup. Then ensuring that both the stroke and the text object are selected, they should be after ungrouping, we will union these items together, essentially combining their geometry into one. I like to use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus to perform the union operation, but you can also go up here to the file menu and click on path and then union. Voila, one path. And this uber bold text is ready for whatever it is you have in store for it. Now it's time for you to go make some bold moves of your own. Or stick around and see what you can learn next. Thanks for watching. Stay creative.